What is going on, everyone? Chris with Journals, Comics, and Pop Culture. Today, I have a box here from mycomicshop.com that I'm going to be opening up. This is uh, some of my previews orders. I don't know what else is in there. Maybe some back issues. We shall see. Uh, this has been sitting for a few days. I've been waiting for the right time to open it with you guys. If you all are not subscribed to the channel yet, please take some time to subscribe. Check out all the awesome links below as well. Uh, I got my partner in crime, Red Deadly, here. We're going to go in and just uh, handle some business onto this box. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, fun thing I want to share with everyone why I'm opening this box. So I usually do an annual room tour. Last one I did was in May of 2020. So it's been almost a year and a half. And I just wanted to let everyone know. I want to give you all an update. This room, I know you guys only see this and you're like, look at this awesome, awesomely organized room, right? It's a mess. What you don't see on camera, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It is an absolute mess. And it's the reason why I haven't done a room tour video this year. So what I've been doing in my downtime, which is very rare that I have downtime, work here, full-time job doing this. I'm an educator. I work five days a week doing that. Take care of people's children. Got two kids of my own. Ugh. But a lot of it is just being backlogged. I got comic books everywhere that I'm trying to organize. Okay. <laughs> and, um, and just finding the time to do it is, is just been crazy. But I have been making really decent dents in the room. I am planning on having a room tour for you all by the end of the year. So it's going to be like a end of the year, New Year's bash where we are going to do a full on room tour. And uh, I know a lot of you guys love the room tours. Um, last year when I did it in May, I did make a lot of changes before doing that. So it was a pretty impressive video, but there's definitely been some changes. There's been a lot of comics added to the collection. So uh, I hope that you all are, you know, looking forward to that and is excited about that as much as I am. So we got some books here though, folks. Let's just get into it. All right. Happy, happy to pull out this uh, back issue that I ordered from my comic shop with my previews orders. I say this every time I unbox from them. Let me state it again real quickly. If you do your previews orders, you get 35% off cover price. You order all the new releases three months in advance. Once you have that order in, any orders that you place in between the time that you ordered your previews order and it ships out, they add those books to the same $5 flat rate shipping that you paid for your previous order. So what did I get, guys? Well, for those that know me, you know I love Adam Warlock. This is Warlock in the Infinity Watch, not a number one. It's actually number 41. Uh, this is, uh, I'm almost at a complete run. I just need some of the later issues. And some of these later issues are, are kind of hard to find. They were, um, you know, much smaller print runs. So, happy to have found this one. That's a really interesting cover. I love the green. All right. And uh, here's another one. Uh, this is issue 34. That's a cool cover. All right. All right. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I saw this. I actually uh, uh, went to a local shop just yesterday and I, I saw this. I do believe this is the beat. This is the cardstock variant. Wonder Woman Black and Gold number five. Amazing. It's uh, to be quite honest, it's probably my least favorite covers out of all of them so far, but it's still really beautiful. And I love what they're doing uh, with the black, gray, and, and gold covers all around. So happy about that. I keep saying I'm going to send all of them. I sent my number one to EGS. If you guys aren't familiar with EGS grading, their link is below. Uh, I sent that off. I'm thinking about sending them all off to EGS. Here's Wonder Girl number four. Daredevil 35. Been picking that up, but still haven't been reading it. Ant number one. Forgot I ordered that or picked that one up. This is uh, one of the variants. 
Oh, we got Silver Surfer number 46. The return of Adam Warlock. Yes. You guys know I'm excited about that. Legends of the Dark Knight number six. Another one I've been picking up that I just haven't read yet. Oh, yeah. And I'm Nubia number one. I can't wait to read this. So I got this one, cover A, to read. And then I got the cardstock variant. Really beautiful cover. I won't read that one. And then, of course, I've been picking up the High Republic. There's number 10. Very behind on that. I think I'm still only on issue five. Ninja Turtles, uh, Eastman variant. This is number 122. Oh, man. And yes, the Marvel Master Masterpieces variants. Thor number 18. I did get that beautiful Thor 18. Um, I think it was Th Thor 18, right? The Comic Tom variant from my Mystery Mail Call. And then the Trial of Magneto number three. Nice, beautiful variant there on that one. That's it, folks. That's half of my previews orders uh for the month i i think that's what that's actually the end of uh october to the first week of november's releases and then i'll get um some more november's releases i don't know whenever they process i think it's pro probably going to be after thanksgiving so look out for that folks again uh, i'm not sponsored by co uh, my comic shop i just really uh love utilizing them uh 35 percent off if you Take advantage of their previews, orders, guys. I definitely recommend them. MyComicShop.com. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of the pickups in the comments below. Be well, and until next time.